Hello everyone. Welcome you all to our channel that is VTU Academy. So from this semester onwards, all the third sem students that is uh, those who have passed the second sem just now and who have entered our uh, third sem. So from this third sem onwards until the seventh sem, these five semesters you are going to see all the course related subjects okay so till now in first semester as well as second semesters you had physics and chemistry cycles and where you have discussed uh, again you're, you're, you have just brushed up whatever you have studied in your pre-university colleges so those things are already covered in the first and second sem uh, second semesters of your engineering where they have made use to the subjects and the difficulties of what we are going to face in the upcoming years right so now that is the year that is second year onwards you are going to have the course related subjects okay where uh, mathematics uh, that is for the av mathematics 3 for ec engineers so this one subject uh, this is the last time you are going to have this subject mathematics under uh, uh, ec history okay so this is only the third sem because from the fourth sem you are not going to have mathematics at all so yeah uh, this is one thing i wanted to tell you also there are a lot of subjects uh, uh, under uh, third sem where uh, this is the syllabus copy and one by one I'm going to discuss each and every subjects and also some of the subject videos are already available in our channel because as I've already, already, I've already covered uh, these subjects to your seniors and uh, third, fourth, fifth, sixth uh, semester subjects are already available in our channel based on the latest video syllabus of the 2022 scheme. So if you observe carefully, the 2022 scheme syllabus is not yet updated. So that's why this syllabus pattern, you could be following the same thing. I've already created the videos, each video of each module, each topics with detailed explanation and different set of problems or everything is available in our channel. Okay. So those who are new to this channel, please stay updated to our channel. Support us guys, stick to our channel because this channel would be very, very helpful to you guys. It is my guarantee to you. Okay. This is my word. I'm telling it to you guys right now. This channel would be very, very important for you guys in the upcoming semesters. So stay tuned and please, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, stay updated to our channel. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about the third semester syllabus uh, where a different set of subjects are there. One by one, I'm going to discuss it with how many credits it holds. Okay. So this is the first subject of uh, ECE electronics and communication that is Subject code is BMAT EC301 and the subject name is AV Mathematics 3 for EC Engineering. Okay, so this credit, this, there are three credits. So this weightage of this is three credits and total hours of pedagogy means total hours of study. So minimum you should be 40 hours of studying would be there. Minimum, if uh, the, the time is not sufficient, the, the your lecturers also might be extending it. Okay. So again, CIE marks is out of 50. That is the internal marks, internal evaluation. So I, I know that, uh, I hope that you guys know what you mean by CIE and SE. I hope that you guys have uh, experienced it in your first two semesters. So that I'm, on good, I'm not going to explain it to you all. CIE marks is out of 50. And semester and evaluation, SE marks is also out of 50. Total marks out of 100. Okay. So this is the syllabus, guys. Then these are the five modules which you are going to cover in this, uh, which have already uh, created the videos in the in our channel video academy. So these are the five modules. First module is Fourier series and practical harmonic analysis. Module two is infinite Fourier transforms. Module three is Z transforms. Module four is ordinary differential equations of higher order. Module five is about curve fitting, correlation and regression. Okay. So these are the assessment details where you are going to have different set of assignments, seminars, quiz, which, are, which is under the continuous internal evaluation. Okay. So these things you guys study because uh, uh, this you need to be knowing uh, before you study these subjects. Okay. So this syllabus, I'm going to put it in the description. See it once. So five modules. These are the five modules. So you see here. Under mathematics, already this is the playlist available. Okay, so search for mathematics M3 third sem by VTU Academy in the YouTube and this playlist, your this would be popping it up. Okay, where all the five modules in detail, all the videos are available. Around 46 videos are there where we have covered all the five modules in detail with the important set of problems based on the exam point of view. Okay, so please, please watch all these videos starting from the first module itself. Okay. So this was about third sem mathematics. So this is one subject. 
so one more subject second subject is about digital system design using Verilog okay so again this is one important subject and uh, algorithm based subject where you are going to have some kind of uh, uh, algorithms you need to be following in this you need to be knowing the basics of KMAP so in our in your if you are an electronic student in your second PUC you might be uh, 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 going through you have, you have might gone through the Karnoff map or KMAP okay so KMAP techniques and all in the first starting introduction part they are going to tell you and different uh, set of uh, counters and uh, different set of logic circuits you are going to see in this uh, subject okay so this is again a four credit where you are going to have a three plus one okay because this is a theory plus lab subject where you are going to have three credit theory again 40 hours of theory plus eight to ten lab slots that is lab experiments you are going to be having in this subject okay again cie and se marks are divided 50 50 uh, total credits are four credits okay so where here three credits is for theory and one credit is for lab internals okay so these are the five modules here first module is uh, principles of combinational logic circuits where we are going to see with the definition canonical form structures different that is uh, sop and pos product to sum sum to product conversions based on the uh, boolean expressions provided so boolean logic and all would be applying here so second module is about logic design with the MSI components and uh, programmable logic devices where we are going to see with the different circuits that is uh, binary adders, subtractors, comparators, decoders, encoders, multiplexers, etc. Okay. Then under module 3 we are having flip-flops. So flip-flops again as you have uh, uh, gone through in your PUC, uh, these, uh, these things are not uh, are already taught you first uh, but some advanced level uh, flip-flops you are going to discuss here. Okay. You see here master slave flip flops that is sr flip flop jk flip flop t flip flop and d flip flop all the flip flops you are going to st be studying in module 3 module 4 is about introduction to verilog and verilog data flow description where here you are going to study the coding part how the verilog codes are encoded based on the applications which you have which we are which we are studying in the first three modules okay that we are going to see in module 4 and module 5 so these are the set of experiments which you need to be following in the in this subject so this subject videos are not available right now but uh, in a short amount of time for third semester students especially we are planning to upload the videos of this subject okay so stay tuned for that and the third subject is one more very important subject that is electronic principles and circuits okay the subject code is BEC 303 so here we have again 3 plus 1 uh, credits that is the uh, three credits for theory and one credit for lab slot where we are having the internal labs examination totally it is of four credits okay theory plus practical so these are the five modules which you are going to see in module one we are going to discuss with transistor biasing bjt that is bipolar junction transistors then voltage amplifiers and cc amplifiers so under module two we are going to discuss with the mosfets okay that is the uh, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors all the uh, biasing conditions, equivalent circuits, everything we are going to discuss in under MOSFET. And module 3 is about OPAMP, that is uh, operational amplifier, linear OPAMP circuits, oscillators and triple phi timers. Okay. Under module 4, we are going to discuss with the feedback circuits, that is negative feedback and filter circuits, that is low pass, high pass filters, everything. And under module 5, we are going to discuss with the power amplifiers and thyristors. So this is also not covered in our uh, channel. So in the shortest amount of time, we are going to provide the videos for all these modules. So stay tuned. So this is one and one more subject is very important, which I had uh, already uploaded the videos that is network analysis. So this subject is very, very important guys. Very, very important guys, because this is completely theory based subject and a lot of prob problems, calculations, algorithms, circuit connections and all are heavy heavy to draw in this subject okay very important very tricky very complicated but uh, if you understand the logic and how if you understand the tactic of solving the problem so if you are a better problem solver this subject would be very very easy to you guys but it requires a lot of time to solve the problems in this subject because the problems are very lengthy and uh, the problems are not repeated because the networks are such a way that or the circuit connections are in such a way that uh, you cannot be expecting repeated questions by uh, pre uh, referring the previous year papers and all because this subject is not like that. So, okay. So, you would be getting to know about this subject already. We have uh, see, we are uh, 
we have created the videos here for network analysis you see here this playlist you see here all the five modules around 54 videos are covered so these many views we have already got it from uh, your seniors okay which uh, which had benefited them so it would be benefiting you guys as well so that's why please watch all these videos okay all the five modules different concepts we have covered it okay you see here beautifully we have created the playlist and kept it to you guys all the five modules are there here so please go through it okay very very important and let me know your uh, suggestions about how these videos are useful to you guys okay so under this again this is a three credit subject and uh, these are the five modules under module one we are going to see with the basic concepts of network analysis okay module two is about network theorems where we are going to study different theorems and how it is related and how the problems are solved based on that theorems then uh, module three is about transient behavior and initial conditions okay where we are going to study the operations of uh, rl and rc circuits and its representation okay module four is about laplace transformation and applications of laplace transformation with respect to different uh, step signals step signal ramp signal and impulse or parabolic signals okay so module five is about two port network parameters and resonance under resonance we have series resonance and parallel resonance so that you would be coming to know in your offline classes as well as the detailed videos which you are provided in our channel okay so these are the five modules please focus a lot in this subject okay this is a very very tricky and very important one so these these were the four subjects which you need to be focusing on also we have a uh, one additional subject that is the professional elective uh, course subject okay that uh, uh, we have a different lab subjects here and a few open elective subjects are also there here which is decided from your department that which subject is there so we have uh, created uh, the videos related to the this subject that is computer organization and architecture so this subject videos are available in our channel so those who whosoever gets this subject as the choice in your department please go through our channel because this uh, this subject videos are already available in our channel okay so yeah so these were the different set of subjects under uh, third sem guys so please please focus guys so if you have stayed till long uh, this long till here and if you are watching till here right now i would be suggesting 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 you guys don't take this semester lightly because the second year is the testing year for you guys in engineering any any course you take that like any stream you take any branch you take that is uh, cs ec mechanical automobile aiml in all the branches the second year is very very important because you are going to study the fundamentals of your branch in this year okay combining both third and fourth sem you should be focusing a lot in these two semesters so that's why detailed videos of all the subjects a tricky subjects we are already we have already provided the videos it is already available in our channel with respect to the latest video syllabus we have provided it okay so th those videos would be very very useful to you guys also i have told you in this subject uh, in this syllabus i have covered mathematics as well as network analysis go through it okay so that's all guys all the best for all the best for all the juniors hope you all pass this year with flying colors and good cgpa okay try to maintain good cgpa after your second year okay when you enter the third year you should be maintaining a very very good cgpa because these two semesters are challenging semesters focus well and study hard okay that's all guys thank you